Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find HCF of three numbers. We will be solving two examples in this video. So let's get started with our first example. So finding the HCF we will be using the prime factorization method or the factor method. I will be showing you both the methods for finding the HCF. The first one is the ladder method or the prime factorization method and the second one is the factor method where we find the factors of each number separately. So let's start with our first example. The three numbers are 18, 24 and 42. So first we'll use the prime factorization method for finding the HCF. So we'll write the three numbers like this and we'll divide the three numbers only by the common factor. Common factor is a factor which divides all the three numbers fully without leaving a remainder. So here as all the three numbers are even, 2 is a factor of all the three numbers. So we'll divide three numbers by 2. 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 1 and 2 times 2, so 2 times 12 is 24. 42 divided by 2 is 2 times 2, 4 and 2 times 1 is 2, so this is 21. So we got all the three numbers which are not divisible by 2. So let's try dividing all the three numbers by 3. We have to take such a number here which divides all the three numbers fully. So 3 divides all the 3 numbers fully, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 times 7 is 21. Now we have 3, 4 and 7 and there is no common factor of all the 3 numbers 3, 4 and 7. So we are going to stop here and the HCF of the 3 numbers will be the product of the numbers on the left hand side which is 2 times 3. So the HCF of the 3 numbers 18, 24 and 42 is 6. Let's find the HCF of the 3 numbers by using the factor method. So in this method we will write the factors of all the 3 numbers separately and then we will find the highest common factor. So the factor of 18 are 1 and 18. Then we have 2 and 9. 2 times 9 is 18. Then 3 times 6 is 18. 18. These are all the factors of 18. Now we will write the factors of 24. So 1 times 24 is 24. 2 times 12 is 24. So 2 and 12 are factors of 24. Now we have 3 and 8. 3 times 8 is 24. Then 4 times 6 is 24. So we have the factors of 24 as 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24. Now we will write the factors of 42. 1 and 42 are the factors of 42. Then we have 2 and 21, 3 times 14 is 42, then 4 is not a factor of 42, 5 is not a factor of 42, 6 is a factor of 42, 6 times 7 is 42 and that's all. So the factors of 42 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 14, 21 and 42. These are all the factors of 42. Now we'll find the common factors and we'll write the common factors of all the three numbers. Common factors are 1, 2, 3 and 6. These are the common factors of the three numbers. Now the highest common factor will be the factor which is the highest and is common to all the three numbers. So highest common factor of the three numbers is only number 6. So 6 is the highest common factor of the three numbers. So this is how we find the HCF of the three numbers. We can either use the prime factorization method or the factor method for finding the HCF of three numbers. Let us solve one more example. In our second example, we have three numbers as 70, 80 and 120. And let us now find the HCF of the three numbers. All the three numbers are even numbers. So they are easily divisible by number 2. So 2 times 3 is 6 and 1 will be remainder. This becomes 10, 2 times 5 is 10, 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 6 is 12 and 2 times 0 is 0. Now we have one odd number and two even number. So we have to find such a factor which divides all the three numbers fully. The factor is 5, 5 times 7 is 35 and 5 times 8 is 40 and 5 times 1 and 5 times 2, 5 times 12 is 60. Now we are left with numbers 7, 8 and 12 and there is no single common factor of the three numbers. 
So we are going to stop the division and, and take the product of the numbers on, on the left hand side of the ladder to find the HCF. So HCF of the three numbers is 2 times 5 which is equal to 10. So 10 is the highest common factor of 70, 80 and 120. Now let us find the highest common factor of the three numbers using the factor method. So we are going to write the factors of 70. We have 1 times 70 is 70. Then 2 times 35 is 70. Then 3 is not the factor. 4 is not the factor. 5 times 14 is 70. And 6 is not the factor. And then 7 times 10 is 70. So we have written the factors of 70. Now we will write the factors of 80. 1 times 80 is 80. Then 2 times 40 is 80. 3 is not the factor of 80. 4 times 20 is 80. Then 5 times 16 is 80. Is not the factor. 7 is not the factor. And 8 times 10 is 80. These are all the factors of 80. Now we will write the factors of 120. So 1 times 120 is 120. Then 2 times 60 is 120. Then 3 times 40 is 120. Then 4 times 30 is 120. Then 5 times 24 is 120. 6 times 20 is 120. And then 8 times 15 is 120 then 10 times 12 is 120 so we have written all the factors of 122 now we will find the common factors of the three numbers so common factors are common factors are factors which are the factors of all the three numbers so 1 2 then 5 10 these are all the common factors of the three numbers. Among all these numbers, the highest common factor that is the highest number or the biggest number in all the factors is number 10. So the highest common factor of all the three numbers is 10. So this is how we find the highest common factor of the three numbers by using the factor method or the prime factorization method. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.